You gotta love how Bulma has so much power over Vegeta. Like this dude at one point was destroying planets and laughing about it. And now his woman got him to the point where it's, Yes ma'am, I didn't say nothing. My ass is getting on that spaceship right now. I was like, Vegeta bro, I understand it. I get it. The power of the P. But damn bro, Bulma got them balls in a bag somewhere. So this episode of Super, to be honest with you, again, it felt like one of those fillerish episodes. I mean, I noticed that they're definitely including more Monaka stuff as well as Jocko. They definitely want to keep on pushing a lot of these newer characters which is kind of cool but I mean the first half of the episode for the most part I was like w what am I looking at Monaka riding in the spaceship and listening to the news and his little letter and shit like that like yo Monaka you are so far of a stretch from the character we all initially thought you were when we saw the revelations of like all these new characters that are being introduced to Super like this dude yeah I mean it's already been established that he's a weakling and shit like that but my gosh bro you just really some ordinary delivery corny motherfucker and i mean the threat that they're facing trunks go temo naka vegeta and them or whatever at first it didn't seem like much but they're using that little cheap thing of like that water that basically can make copies of people or take their powers and stuff like that and i'm like i mean it's kind of all right i think the episode definitely got a lot better once vegeta got involved because before that it was just really setting things up in a very slow way the comedy was all right it gave me a giggle here or there but it was definitely Definitely very slow in the beginning of the episode once Vegeta showed up though and things started to kick off and we saw that the villain was somewhat credible because of this water thingy or whatever and basically using Vegeta's own powers against him I was like okay cool my question though is is it gonna really take Goku showing up to stop this threat I mean this is filler you couldn't at least give Vegeta that to save Goten and Trunks which by the way I was surprised when Monaka was captured that Goten and Trunks didn't just immediately you know teleport over there beat the fuck out of them well not that they haven't since trans mission but they're so fucking fast i think they could have gotten monaka and that blast away from his head way before they did anything to him so they definitely downplayed goten and trunks a little bit you got to remember at one given point years ago they were humanity's last hope against majin buu when goku was like teaching them fusion and piccolo taught it to them and whatnot like they were humanity's last ditch effort and they were really fucking strong so when i see little situations like this yeah they could definitely kick their asses or whatever but like you telling me they couldn't immediately get monaka there real quick and then just be beat the fuck out of these people before they could get the pacifier which by the way that pacifier gave me super hitman reborn feels i was just like really yo we on that tip right now we're gonna have suna pop in here and say dying will i'm no longer a pussy and with all that being said it was a okay average episode i mean again the first half was just like whatever it was comedy and then when we actually got the plot of this little i guess it's gonna be like a two-part filler special thingy majig i was like uh, it's all right i definitely can't wait to get back to to the real canon feeling episodes with the whole you know trunk shit or whatever so yeah i mean next week's episode is what i'm really looking forward to as well in comparison to this one at the very least because next week we're gonna have go tanks in the house so like i'm hyped for that because i love go tanks always have and always will so it's like yeah um uh, maybe a five out of ten for this episode i felt as though what they did do in this episode was a little bit more interesting than last week's episode because it was just a babysitting episode with this one at the very least you got vegeta to go to the planet and you get to see a little more of his relationship with Bulma which is pretty much um for the most part he's her bitch well let me know what you thought of the episode what do you think about the pacifier if you ever seen Kotecchio hit Mary Born did it remind you of that also do you think that they downplayed Goten and Trunks' strength a little bit like I felt as though with those aliens one punch Goten should have been able to knock all of them out so do you think that they're maybe just cutting them down a little bit especially if they go Gotenks next week and they're fighting these dudes if it wasn't for that gel shit like it would not take Gotenks I think Goten could have handled this by himself so it's kind of like they're using a cheap thing but at the very least it's being a effective to make some sort of threat plausible the overall thoughts of the episode but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day